Hey guys, today I am bringing you another hamster mail unboxing. So excited for this. This thing arrived over a week ago and I've been waiting, waiting to film it. So I'm very excited. Before we get into this though, I do have to say an enormous thank you because this morning we hit 200,000 subscribers. Every time we reach a new milestone, it's like, how? <laughs> I make videos on hamsters. How did we get here? But thank you so much for your continued support, making this channel what it is, and of course, telling me to shut up when I make intros too long. Thank you for that as well. So let's bust in to the new box. By the way, if you don't know what Hamster Mail is, I did a whole review video on the company a couple of months ago. And yes, I did not post the June box unboxing. There were some issues with the footage, couldn't put it up. But if you want to see what was in the June box, Tori did her own video on that. So you can go and check it out on her channel. I will link down below. Despite it currently being August, this is the July box. Like I said, I got it a couple of weeks ago, just didn't have the time to film it. Oh, and by the way, yes, I did sign up to a subscription service after doing the review video. I signed up to the six month subscription. So you'll be getting these unboxing videos quite regularly. An awesome extra thing this company does is every month they choose a hamster charity to send some goodies to. So for July, their charity of choice is the Hamster Haven Rescue, who are based in Cheshire in the UK. They're a non-profit hamster rescue that provides a safe place for neglected, unwanted and abandoned hamsters, as well as gerbils and mice. They were founded in 2012 and have helped rehome many hamsters over the years and have also provided a loving permanent home for those who haven't been able to find appropriate owners. Their adoption process has taken very seriously seriously to ensure their hamster friends are only rehomed to safe and loving environments. And if you'd like to see more of their happily ever after stories, or even better, find out a way to help this charity, visit their Facebook page and I will link that in the description box down below. So now let's get into the contents of the box. Oh, I'm gonna have to rip this. I hate ripping this, it's so cute. Must we tear the cute things? Da. So like last time, let's begin with the treats. And first of all, we have the Rosewood Naturals Shrimp Cookies, which contain cereals, seeds, vegetables, shrimps, prawns, nuts, egg, and egg product. Now, this is again something I have used in the past, and these were very, very popular with my past hamsters that I've used them for. And I'm particularly excited to see Osmium try these out because she does love her crustaceans. Iodine, on the other hand, is a little more fussy, so she may not like these, but Osmium will go crazy for them so she may end up getting the entire packet to herself. I'm a little more cautious about giving things like this to zinc because they can be quite high in protein and with mice you do have to be careful about not giving them too much protein because it can have negative effects on their health. Treat number two. Ooh, this looks interesting. This is not something I have used before. This is the Healthy Hopper Critter Crunch, which contains locust bean treats, rose hips, mealworms, and silkworm pupa. So again, very insect-based, very high in protein, and Osmium is definitely gonna go crazy over these. Again, not so sure if iodine will, and uh, with zinc I do have to be careful, but I think I can give zinc a mealworm as a treat. I think you'll quite enjoy that. So now moving on to the toys, and I'm gonna show you this first. This is what I think zinc is going to go crazy for. This is the Happy Pet Fruit Flavored Nibbler Wooden Cage Chew, and it's 100% natural wood. Now, one of the reasons I think Zink will love this is simply because it's a flavored chew toy. He doesn't have any flavored ones, so I think he will enjoy munching on that. But also, as you can see, by the washer and nut here, it attaches to the side of the cage, which means it's gonna make an awesome little perch for him. He loves sitting up by the bars of his cage, waiting for treats, waiting for attention. So I think he's gonna enjoy perching onto this. And of course, as I said, having a good old munch on it too. And the final toy I'm gonna take out of its wrapping so you can truly appreciate it. This is something I used to use in the past. I've had a couple of these over the years, uh, but I think I think the last hamster I had to use one of these might have been Einstein. Not 100% certain on that. This is the Rosewood Boredom Breaker Crinkle Activity Tunnel, and you can hear why it is named that. My past hamster Thistle used to be obsessed with that crinkling noise. You'd give her one of these and she would run back and forth and back and forth in it. I don't know why she loved it so much. I think I might give it to Iodine since Ozzy's probably gonna end up munching on all the treats anyway. So I'll see what she thinks of that later. They are fast asleep right now, but I think she's gonna find it interesting. And if she doesn't, 
I'll just give it to Ozzy. <laughs> now, one thing you should be aware of with this particular toy is the material it's made out of. It's a kind of uh, thin, plasticky, almost like a raincoat texture. So if you have a hamster that you know is an excessive chewer, you know is going to chew on this, do not get it for them. I don't recommend giving this to any hamster that is going to chew. Neither of my hamsters are known chewers, so that's not really something I have to worry about. But even so, even when I give them toys like this, I still make sure to check them regularly for any damage, because if you spot any kind of chew marks, any over interest in a toy like this, you should definitely remove it for their safety. So that's everything that was in the July hamster mailbox. And if you're a little bit sad as to how soon this video has come to an end, don't you worry, because I have another unboxing from another company coming up later this week that I think you guys are going to love. It's a fantastic company. Seriously, hang on for that video. And after that, I also have a haul video. So lots of stuff. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. This is my dog making noise on the floor. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!